name is Christina Quaint and I will be doing my PowerPoint presentation on strays in the USA. And a little background as why I chose to do this complex problem is because I'm a huge animal lover and I've just seen a lot of people mistreat animals and just disregard their existence sometimes, like not taking care of them, dumping them on the side of the road, chaining them up in the backyard, leaving them outside in the cold for hours on end without food or water. And I just want to spread awareness that it's a, it's not okay to treat animals like that. They have hearts and souls just as much as we do. So why are we treating animals when they have the most unconditional love anyone could ever possibly give us? So here we go. How I noticed it became a problem I've seen lots of dogs and cats wandering around Oxford, not just specifically in Oxford, even where I'm from, Cleveland, in some areas, you just see dogs, mostly a lot more cats than dogs I've noticed are more straight. Um, but either or, there's still animals at the end of the day and we need to respect them. Um, so it's, anyway, so they're always outside searching for food or water, always cold, um, and I just want to spread more awareness about this to show people that dogs do matter, cats too, or any living animal matters. Here are some statistics about animals. Um, so approximately 800, 810,000 lost pets reunited with their owners annually. And then you got approximately 78 million dogs and 8.5 million cats in the USA. Um, there are straight, but then you come down here, rehoming reasons. So you have 47% are rehomed to the pet population. Um, and then the next, we go why straight pets should matter in our community because helping animals, uh, they need our care, attention because they're like us and they need help, as well as keeping everyone safe. Stray pets might make people sick or cause accidents, so it's important to look after them. When I mean like safety issues is if there's been instances where an owner may let their dog out and there's another stray dog out on the streets and that stray dog can come and attack your dog or even you possibly because that dog, that stray has no responsibility it's never been taught how to behave. It's just, just trying to protect and defend itself at the end of the day. And then being a good community, meaning taking care of stray pets, showing that we're kind and responsible within our neighborhood, meaning if you see a lost cat or a lost dog, don't just drive past it, you know? If you can, bring it into your home and try to find its rightful owner instead of just letting it be out in the cold and just being scared, because everyone gets scared, even dogs and cats. Um, it's our responsibility. We did bring our pets in our lives, so we need to take care of them when they're not in, when, when they're in trouble. So meaning if you are a pet owner, be responsible with your pet. Don't let it be outside hours on end. Don't let it run off. Don't, they're like children in a sense, you know, you, you, you can't just leave them alone for hours on end. There has to be some type of responsibility with them. They literally are like children. And then making animals feel better, meaning if you see a stray pet have a tough time, we can make them feel happier and safer, helping nature. And then stray pets cause problems for other animals, plants, helping them keep everything safe. And then feeling good together, meaning looking after stray animals, making, making us feel happier and closer as a community when we know we are on the same page about that. And then I have linked some really great to uh, YouTube videos that I thought went really well with this topic. One one of these videos, I'm sure you've probably seen it before during commercials. It's one of those like help a dog out when in need and they show you really sad and rough pictures and rough conditions that they're in. So those are really great resources just to give you more of a visual. And then my call of action, meaning um, support animal shelters, volunteer or donate to shelters dedicated to our loved animals, uh, donate goods, spread awareness, foster or adopt and report and assist. 
all these call of actions are super easy and if you can't you know afford to have a pet that's okay you could still go to the shelter and play sit down and play with the little uh, dogs and cats that are lonely and sad and need a home even if you can't take one home you could still set a little side of time to volunteer at the animal shelter i always i'm not from oxford i'm from cleveland ohio but i have a local animal shelter that i go to pretty so often until i moved down here that i would go and assist and help out animals i as well have fostered a dog as as well um very fun very it's a lot of work but it's worth it because you're making an animal happy at the end of the day of it all and the next oops here are some local pet shelters i found while doing some research there's animal adoption foundation which is in hamilton here's their hours their phone number and then humane society which is in prevo county located in eaton which is i think 30 minutes from here and then there are their hours and then my final thoughts. So after understanding the challenging facing stray animals is vital for our community to step up and assist these pets. Even if we can't personally take care of them, there are alternatives to leaving them on their own, taking them to a shelter or helping them to find new homes or company for their well-being. It's not just about owning a pet, it's about enduring their safety and welfare even if it means finding others to look for them. By joining forces, we can create a significant impact to these animal lives. Thank you so much for listening.